Um, I'm not really going to be able to, like, call myself professional until... That, I don't think. Until season five. <laughs> until, well, if, if I got to that many episodes. Hello. You are listening slash watching to the McAllister Hours. I am your host, Colin McAllister. And today, I'm here with a good friend, Molly Reardon. We're, um... Getting a little crazy up in this bitch. <laughs> um, we kind of had a dare how long I could do this ridiculous ass get up for. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of jumping right into it, essentially. Um, how you doing today, Molly? Good, good. Good. I didn't ask this before, but where am I supposed to look? We mean where are you supposed to look? Like. Right at me. Um, <laughs> so the main camera is right up here where the um, where the phone is. So if you want to look at the audience, I suppose, you look into there. Um, when we are on the computer, we have cameras both right here and um, right there to the side of us. <coughs> um, so, yeah, we got a lot going on. But uh, really what the goal is is you're just chilling, sitting here talking hanging out um molly we're not gonna show any or talk about any in detail but molly actually played a huge part in um orchestrating a lot of this um setup <laughs> testing the guest <laughs> mic and other sort of things um she was very yeah. um i i wouldn't say she really um brought a lot of creative energy maybe perhaps but Nonetheless, she did a very good job uh, being a test subject <laughs> as a guest. So I thought, um, um, unfortunately, I've had um, my last two guests had to drop um, because of um, sickness and personal reasons. And, um, you know, no beef. I'm not upset with anybody at all. Don't n nobody take that from me. I'm not that kind of guy. Um but um, I just thought I would come back and have a little shindig with a good friend and just talk some shit for a little bit <laughs> just because I hyped up um, two podcasts and kind of just stayed off the media landscape as I kept teasing yeah. and then never doing anything about it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we're here. Um, I have some notes. That we can go off and we have a good time. Um, the first, well, not really a good time because <laughs> the first topic is pretty. Uh, <sighs> God damn. <sighs> I'm drunk. <laughs> I, I admit. This is, this is kind of just, this is a ridiculous instance here. In a sense. You're yeah. drinking Monster again. I it see. Yeah, I'm done after this. You're done. I'm done for this. Sounds like uh, sometimes sounds like me every time I'm gonna quit drinking. <laughs> I mean, I'll. No, I'm I not. should be good for a while. I'm. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm nothing. I'm just. I. I'm just tired. I'm like been burning the candle both ends. It's kind of weird being back on. I feel like I haven't been back on the podcast for so long. I'm talking for more than. You know, ten minutes. But anyways, <sighs> I mean, it's been like a week. Yeah, um, yeah, because we we put out Teresa's episode um, about Shia LaBeouf. Mm -hmm. We put that out Monday, but that was yeah. I mean, we filmed that a week ago. Yeah, you filmed it on Saturday. So that's yeah. That was kind of my whole thing too. I was really, um, you know, I was really excited and anxious for that, and um, that repeated cycle um it's all good yeah. here we are and we're going to talk about the coronavirus i guess sounds scary i don't but know in why reality, I, they are an easy pain-free way to evaluate your oh I, visit that is healthy really leg matter doc <laughs> i'm officially <laughs> it kind of sounded like you a i bit. know it did <laughs> i was tripping there oh my god i oh, was tripping i was, I was tripping like hardcore. holy fuck <laughs> I didn't oh, see that. Jesus, uh, me and Molly had a bet 
to see how long I can hold this get up for. This ridiculous. What what is it you described me as? Uncle oh, Cracker. Uncle Cracker. Apparently, I look like Uncle Cracker, motherfuckers. <laughs> so, um, I was I was like, fuck, fuck yeah, we'll we'll see how long I can do this. She's guessing 12 minutes there's no timer i have no idea how long Mm -hmm. i'm just trying to bullshit in this as long as i can take it until i'm finally like and i have a sweater underneath this too because i'm that hardcore so we're gonna see how long oh fuck (sighs) so wait the sweater's part of the get up too what the sweater's part of the get up too oh you mean the sweater underneath no no your top one oh i mean I don't know. It's just like if the sunglasses hoodie. come off, do the headband and the hoodie come off? Yeah, it all just goes. It's all it's all one thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to emulate uh, a Tupac esque. Uh, well, maybe not even Tupac. Like uh, a blend between Tupac and a biker. Like Tupac and a biker fucked and had a baby. Their love child. That, their love child would be me. That's the <laughs> that's the goal and ambition here. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're trying to keep it light here in the McAllister Hour studio as the coronavirus creeps forward and mercilessly takes its victims. Um, no, not quite to that extent yet. At least not no. here in Des Moines. <laughs> um, snow this morning, though. No, what the yeah. fuck was up with that? <laughs> I thought we were done with all that bullshit. But no, alas. You thought it was spring. I did. I was hoping. I was hoping we were done with all this crap, all this snow. But, I mean, it's, well, actually, I was just out there, and it was still snowing at, like, 1 o'clock. Mm-hmm. So, I don't think it's going to accumulate, but still, very sad to see. No, it's still nice out. It's just snowing, yeah. too. Speaking of, they're sad. We're gonna <laughs> 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 the man who speaks at a fifth grade reading level yes. um donald trump we're gonna listen to him talk for some dumbass reason not for very long probably national emergency friday reassured by the president's oh, message that's how you know it's official the virus continues is that just like the, the coronavirus bell that they, <laughs> they made it just they, for coronavirus <laughs> No, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a bell. It's going to be a big bell. <laughs> Bigger than any bell any bell man has ever seen. <laughs> it'll be a great bell. And when the coronavirus was hit, it'll bing for hours and hours and hours. I can totally see that. Mm-hmm. 110%. So does fear. Only West Virginia has yet to report a confirmed case. Late oh, damn, night, I did not Pentagon know that. Halting oh. all official domestic travel for service members, DOD civilians, and their families. It's really ironic, March actually. March 16th through May 11th. In some states, the National Guard now helping with basic necessities. Well, they told us that they needed help, and that's what we're here to do. Across the country, schools ah, suspended yeah, the 13 statewide closures. This school was one of the first to close after four students showed symptoms. In L.A., the second largest school district, hundreds of thousands of kids now staying home. We will look back in this period, and this will be the make or break days. In Louisiana, the presidential primary rescheduled for June 20th. In Boston, church services canceled. The iconic marathon delayed. Boo. This planet is That's going too up. <laughs> and, uh, Production stopped on favorite shows. Jimmy Kimmel Live. I kind of want to go into Ken Hem later. Are you okay with that? More sports or is that across the line for you? No, that's fine. Cool. I, I, you and seem to be an open book. I think you're... That's, that's what we were talking about earlier. The art? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's fine. Retailers also closing cool. Cool. doors tech giant apple and outdoor gear um, patagonia yeah we don't need to watch that whole thing but i mean it's serious <coughs> it is it, no, is. it is um not in the metro oh i mean it's not technically in the metro but i'm sure it's in the metro we'll hear about it in like five days i'm sure somebody's got it yeah um i've heard some people talking a couple months ago, like respiratory season was really bad. Mm-hmm. Like the hospitals were full, and people are saying, "What if that was coronavirus?" Because everybody was testing negative for the flu. And then, yeah, 
So now they think, well, maybe that was coronavirus. Damn. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's sketchy. It's a sketchy deal. I not. I feel like I'm not educated enough about any of this to really say something. But I think it's, you know, I think it's, um, I think this caught all caught wind a lot faster than I thought it would. Yeah. Um. Um. Well, yeah, I was gonna pull this up. I don't think I actually showed you this. Um, I think this is it. If I, if I have every oh, so they have a they made coronavirus subreddit. Um, for anybody who wants any, uh, the, oh, of course, <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking slimy ass politician. Let's take something serious and yeah. let's push our political agendas in front of it. Republicans are sneaking abortion restrictions into the coronavirus bill. Anti-choice lawmakers are stalling emergency legislation. <sighs> it's just really upsetting because we're actually in a time, it's seemingly, I didn't think it really was that the case, but or would be the case, I should say, but it seems like we're at a point where things really need to be done. And it's like the same bullshit. Right. We've created this thing that just doesn't operate correctly. Ugh, it's a pain in the ass. But um, <clears throat> this is from yesterday. Um, but you can see here, um, we're actually on a um, higher projectile. Like we have, we have more cases recorded than mm -hmm. Italy did um, in terms of the data and like when things were first infected. Um, currently um on the same day this is this would have been what i guess so i guess this would have been three days ago never mind three days ago italy was at 12,462 12,462 um whereas we were at 1,135 infected cases and that number has gone up i know yeah i don't know what um i think i heard 5,000 Yeah, um, well, that's why I heard today or the other day. 5,000 people have been infected or died. No, 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 no. 5,000 people have died worldwide from this up to date. Thanks. So they're calling it the, um, apparently they're calling it the boomer remover. <laughs> that's terrible. I mean, I, I think the joke rings true that um, we could have all three um runners for the presidential 2020 seat all wiped out from coronavirus. For real? And then what? Um, and then, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> My, Pence. Mike Pence. Uh-huh. VP. Mike oh. Pence. But he's up in there, too. He's not that old, though. He's, like, probably 60. Well, how old is Mike Pence? Let's look this up. He looks like he's 75. Okay. Uh, I'm done. It's coming off. I can't operate. Okay, Ugh. I'm not even kidding you. I looked at the time when we first started talking about this, and it's been exactly 12 minutes. No way! <laughs> no way! Oh, oh, now it's been 13, but... Ugh. Jesus, fuck. Whew. Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I, like... Oh, Fuck. I was just waiting for the point where we could just maul the whole way through, but it finally got interesting. I'm like, ah, no, nah, I got <laughs> God damn it. The, the, um, the thing I've cornered myself into is having to be producer and um, host at the same time. Mm -hmm. Very stressful. Um, if I had a producer with me, I probably could have pulled that the whole time, but um, it was a learning experience. Well, I'm glad. Definitely. Glad to help you out with that. Well, that was memorable. That's for sure. I'm uh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> Fair enough. It's true. Uh, okay. What were we gonna look up? How old Mike Pence is? Yeah. <laughs> Not Mike Bloomberg. I don't give a fuck about him. He's also old. Also, yeah. I mean, that's the that's They're the whole old. point. Yeah. Oh, he's uh, sixty. Six, yeah, okay. That's uh, that's what I was thinking. Sixty. Dang. I mean, he's time has not treated him kindly. No, I mean, t 
time really has to treat anything kindly. It's like the whole thing. Let's see. Yeah. Well, I, 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 um, well, yeah, well, if you think about it, he's running the coronavirus. So he actually probably be um, the most likely to get it, you would think. He's going to be patient zero? Or do you think he'd be on top of his game and he'd be like, all right, give me all the vaccines. <laughs> I'm going to go on to warfare. And <laughs> <laughs> See if I can fight off the coronavirus. And he does. So he's just like the superhuman. And then he becomes the leader of... Mike Pence saves the day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. But no, first he would be like, no abortion. <laughs> We can't do any of this. I I have the vaccine. I won't give it until we make abortion <laughs> illegal. Make illegal, it illegal, illegal, illegal. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Don't be rude. <sighs> Fucking Mikey, man. Mikey. I mean... I don't know. I probably just live under a rock and don't pay attention. It doesn't seem like he's still got a horrible amount of damage. He just seems to be kind of a fuck. Yeah. I gotta see. Uh, what's that? Oh, Jesus Christ! I gotta find that. What's that clip of Mike Pence where he's talking about? It's either it's either gay or abortion. I don't remember. I don't remember which one. One of the big ones, of course. <laughs> um. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah, don't mind me while I just boringly look at shit. Uh, not gay rights. Maybe maybe it was abortion. I don't know. It's like this really or, old video, and he's talking about... Or... No, no, no. Okay, well, oh, no, no. It actually goes to religion, funny enough. Oh. Um, uh, and state. Maybe this is it. Uh, no, I can't find it. I give up. But anyways, it's just this video, and he's talking about how um, how church and state should be all mended, like how they should be teaching creationism in schools. <sighs> Crazy shit. Thanks. The thing, the the very basic fundamental of that that never I never understood is like, okay. You you have this country that believes in freedom of religion. So how can you, how can logically a country that has freedom of religion have a religion associated with it? Like how can you call America a Christian country if it's a, if it the whole fucking point is that it's a melting pot and has different? I mean, am I wrong? What do you? Think? No, you're right. I mean, it's the same thing with like what do you call it? The Declaration of Independence. Mm-hmm. And it was like everybody's free, but by free they meant white land owning men. So yeah, um, they say free freedom of their religion, standards. but this is our religion. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. just skewed logic. Exactly. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. It's dumb. Is the whole fucking point? <laughs> there, there are people starving. There. Are things that are really happening that are a real problem that your god isn't going to do fucking shit about i'm sorry that's how it is um okay the positive cases of coronavirus in iowa coronavirus in iowa rises to 16 dang if i can talk today um but okay here we go so when they did this testing, it looked like they had 12, 128, mm-hmm. 16. So, I mean, that's, that's what, less than 10%, I think. I don't know. Uh, something like that, maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to pull out. The important thing is it's that. not very much. No. I, I mean, obviously, it's still in the early stages, but... I think people are really quick to assume it's like the zombie apocalypse type of virus. Yeah. Where it's just going to eat everybody. That's about the dumbest question in the world. Obviously. Obviously. Oh. 
I don't know why I found this funny, but I did. I, I cracked up reading this. The Lutheran <laughs> Church of Hope moved all their services online. Online church. Um, so, Russian hackers, please infiltrate this. <laughs> <laughs> so they can get cut off of their um, daily sermon. Um, the good news is we will still worship this weekend. Hope has a long history of broadcasting our weekly services online. Yeah, whatever. Nobody gives a fuck. <sighs> I'm an asshole. I know. Do you think being an ace... Uh, oh, fuck. For those of you who haven't figured it out, I'm not really very vocal about it, to be honest. I just happen to be in the mood today where <laughs> I am. Um, but, like, atheism. Do you think I'm an asshole because I want to be an atheist? No. Or I am an atheist. I don't think so either. But a lot of people tend to. I want to get a... Um, it's kind of uh, like vegans. <laughs> like vegans? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, like a lot of atheists will be like in your face like, I'm an atheist. Yeah, no, and I And that's I get what that. makes people think that. they're assholes. No, I, I, I can't understand that. I think like every like new atheist kind of gets... Like, they kind of just like naturally get that little vibe well yeah you get excited about your part Uh, fuck the establishment it's all bullshit you know you kind of get that whole mentality going yeah but that fades over time yeah exactly that's the goal for nice people i mean it should hopefully right if you're uh well like i feel like especially if you're an atheist because i feel like most people don't like aren't raised atheist yeah like they conform so like you would think being an atheist you would be like not wanting to push yourself on others the way people have pushed their religion on you your whole life yeah it's like the whole but then people kind of go the opposite direction yeah it's like it's just growing up with a lot of pressure uh, um you know different time and age i feel like you know atheism is like a growing minority in a sense you know, people. You see people that come from all these cultures, and they're just like, "No, this is all bullshit." Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. People are actually questioning it, which is what, what people should be always doing. You should always be questioning things. I think that's the uh, <laughs> moral. That's the, story. the important part. How you doing, Molly? Good. Yeah, it's been it's been a minute. I've been trying to convince you to do this for a while. Yeah. Um, we've attempted several times. Like I said, you were very heavily involved in the early days when we were like first trying to get this together. Yeah. Um, before episode one. And that <laughs> was a lot of fun. and point seven five. <laughs> yeah. To uh, like the first one was strictly a test. Then the second one, we got drunk, and we were like, "Let's try to do a podcast at one o'clock in the morning," and it did not take. There's such thing as too drunk. Too drunk, exactly. <laughs> And that's what we discovered. I think we both discovered that night is that you can definitely be definitely be too drunk to do a podcast, which is what I'm bordering bordering on right now. But nah, we're making it through. I'm talking. I <clears throat> the kind of thing too is like if you do it long enough, I feel like you just start, you naturally just are like, oh, okay, whatever. Well, I can talk for however fucking long. I don't fucking care. Yeah. You know. I'm gonna. I'm turning my microphone here because I just feel myself like kind of talking over it. I don't really feel like changing anything right now. <sighs> what time? Oh damn, twenty six. All right, we going pretty good. Yeah, going pretty good. <laughs> God, it, it, it. Yeah, I really need to just like do. I need to like do soul podcasts. That needs to be my thing. I think I need yeah. to be like, okay, once every two days, I need to do a podcast. I don't care. Like, I need to get into the fucking thing where I'm like, Mm -hmm. just like constantly firing all cylinders, being like, okay, whether this is like gonna be 45 minutes, hour 15 minutes, etc. Like, I'm just gonna talk. Yeah, we're just gonna go with it and see how it works. Yeah, if nothing, it would be cathartic. So. Yeah, I mean, because it's all about volume. I feel like with this, because that's what I was thinking about. I've been kind of. Focusing in way too much on all these little kind of little details of the podcast, and that doesn't really matter. It's really just about like ha- like providing a platform and having a variety for a platform that has numerous amounts of content. Mm-hmm. 
I think that's the goal. I think that's how people take you seriously anyways. Yeah. What kind of podcast do you, you kind of told me this, but what kind of podcast do you listen to? What are you into? Uh, like, like the true crime stuff. Yeah, no, that shit's cool. And then, um, the one I've been listening to is lore, which is just about like lore and like myths from our different countries and stuff. Hmm. It's cool. Lores and myths. So is that kind of around like the supernatural kind of type of shit? Kind of like a lot of them are like vampires or elves and like the root of that, like where that came from and like how it's been built up by society and stuff. But then there's also ones like there was an episode about like H.H. Holmes. Mm. That sounds familiar. Who uh, go into that a little bit more. Who well, that is? H. H. Holmes is my favorite serial killer. <laughs> Your favorite, <laughs> favorite serial killer. Yes. Ah, awesome. Um, yeah, I have one of those. Um, fuck yeah! Let's. Uh, I'm gonna pull this up. <laughs> I. You know what? It. It sounds kind of fucked up. Maybe I actually really. Um, <clears throat> that shit really interests me. Yeah, it's fascinating. Um, wow, this guy's old too. Yeah, this was in Chicago. Um, the oh. World Fair, which was what 1892. Wow. Yeah. So just that, like a normal looking guy. Right. He That's... built a hotel, which you can see there. Um, oh, okay. And it was like a murder castle. Like there were shoots to dump the bodies oh, in. There were like so hallways pretty, yeah. that led to nowhere, like secret doors. Oh. Like every two weeks, like he built this place himself or he hired people to. And every two weeks he would like fire the people who were doing it and then hire a new company and give them a completely different plan. So then no one really knew what they like, what was being built. They just thought it was a regular hotel. Damn. Yeah. That's, uh, that's really creepy. Right. I, that looks familiar though. But the thing that really strikes me is just like how normal looking this guy is. <laughs> Yeah, that, he was a doctor. Oh, or, well, sort of. Doctor. He tried. He went to medical school, but I don't think he ever finished. So he he's just kind of a con artist. Started doing lobotomies on people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you know? How many people he killed? Uh, as oh, it probably. Well, it said, it kind of depends. I think he. He was executed to like nine hundreds. days. Sorry, go ahead. What? I think he was like he admitted to killing hundreds of people. But who knows? Because well, he also it, made stuff up, like he. Well, it, yeah. Um, have you ever heard of Mine Hunter? No. That show. Oh fuck. Mm. That's all. I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> that's all about the. Um, that's all about like the first people who like uh, created those terms, like serial killers, and like. Um, they were like worked for the FBI, and they like, interviewed these killers and like created profiles. And Interesting. <clears throat> a lot of like, well, you probably because you're going to school for to be a therapist. Like a lot of the stuff you probably uh, learn are like these guys like created it. Interesting. I would think, anyways. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a fucking expert. That's what my parents always wanted me to do, though, was, like, criminal minds. Oh, really? Like, that's what I should use my degree for. My uh, my father always wanted me, me to be in the military. And then I just happened to go to the Iowa School of Beauty, beauty have a short burst of mis- miscommunication, and now I have no hair. You have plenty of hair. I mean, I have enough. It's I guess. growing back. It is. It is actually growing mm-hmm. back decently. Um, well, clearly, but, someone gave uh, you bad advice to go to the Iowa School of Beauty. Yeah, that was you, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry. But it's okay. Like I thought of it before, and but I was just fine. Like it's because I'm the kind of person I like to get a haircut like maybe three to four times a year, yeah. if that, like very infrequently. Um. So I just was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to, like, try to, like, you know, just generally, like, keep my hair a little groomed. And then I told her, I was like, I want a fourth of the amount that I have left. And, you know, not to be judgmental or anything, but she was, uh, I don't think English was her primary language. 
so it might have had something to do with it um but anyways i think she or she registered uh fourth of an inch Mm -hmm. what to leave on the so she like started in the back and as she was coming to the front i just saw all my hair just like (sighs) i just didn't know to do that point i was so embarrassed and like everybody's like looking at me like just like what the fuck he's taking off so much hair been there done that (laughs) oh my god that was there was so much anxiety induced in that Mm -hmm. but it's fine it doesn't look bad yeah i mean that's what everybody tells me i i really i really hate it though i i that hood like i literally looked like that probably for the first like week and a half that i had that haircut because i was so it, it was a lot shorter than it is now now i can actually kind of run my hair my or my fingers to my hair now it kind of <sighs> like curls up a little bit yeah exactly like that yeah. but, um obviously nobody that has just started watching this podcast knows this but i do have like very long curly hair generally it's pretty good pretty dope um, but no, this is like very interesting. It's kind of like a modern day uh, um, barbershop. What's the Sweeney Todd? Sweeney Todd, yeah. yes. With like the shoot, the shoots kind of just reminded yeah. me of that. Oh, is this even a drawing? Because oh, yeah, the me. problem was so well, people went inside, but before the trial, someone burned his house down. Uh, so like, it's not there anymore. But um. Yeah, I guess what I was... 50 lawsuits. Well, that just has to do... He did a lot of insurance fraud. Uh, He's said okay. to have killed as many as 200, though his fi- this figure is only traceable to the 40s magazines. 200. Because, yeah, well, some of the people he said he killed actually ended up still being alive. Uh, so. See, and that's what I was going to say. It's like, uh, I feel like a lot of times they just try to take all the credit for it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like, well, that's he the even, whole thing. Like, they have an ego. A lot of people thought he was Jack the Ripper, too. Mm. Because he was in England during that period of time. Oh, no, I've never heard of that. Yeah. That's but, really interesting. But that's like kind of just hearsay, whatever. Yeah. Well, didn't they find out who Jack the Ripper was recently? Ooh. They did. They did like some DNA stuff, and <sighs> oh well, I thought maybe I heard it, but it wasn't conclusive, was it? I don't remember. I mean, I don't know if it ever probably could be conclusive. Um, a shocking myth. Is that the same thing, though? <laughs> I don't know. Um. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really seeing anything. Um, a Jack the Ripper expert claims to have uncovered a shocking myth by the serial killer. Says she's disgusted. He's still celebrated. Well, that's a shock. Anybody's disgusted by anything. <laughs> um, Ooh. Jack the Ripper. That sounds really interesting. That does sound really interesting. That's in London. I just told my sister to go check it yeah. out. Yeah. Go check out the Jack the Ripper. Music. Yeah, have her send pictures. That's dope. You know, it, it's kind of weird. You always think like the British are all like, you know, all kind and nice or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's the Jack the Ripper. <laughs> I got rid of the Jason sound. <laughs> Damn it. Because it was like, well, who, where were Winning. you ever going to use that? Yeah. Winning. Except Winning. Now. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's like the whole thing. And I tried to like figure out how to you know switch between different portions of the soundboard. Yeah, I couldn't figure it out, so I'm limited to these sixteen sounds, which isn't which is a lot. There's more than anyone usually uses on a podcast, but it's hard to determine which ones I'm gonna pick. Yeah, some weird like that. Okay, anyways, um, very interesting everything about the serial killers mm-hmm. i i always i've always found this stuff like to be a lot of fun yeah i have a couple books on h.h H. holmes if you ever need to borrow really? them. yeah hmm. there was like a like a really popular one called devil in the white city um oh and like it's about the world fair and like how that was created alongside the whole h.h H. holmes thing so that like 
I don't know. It's very informative. Hmm. Interesting. Makes learning fun. Makes learning fun. Yeah. Definitely. loan of a million dollars. I'm kind of retarded. I love that one. <laughs> I'm kind of retarded. I love how I God. That was the best shit. That whole episode. <laughs> oh my god. That was in the Joe Rogan one. Yeah, that's what that's from. Okay. He's like rambling for four hours, and he's finally just like. I'm kind of retarded. Yeah. That that's yeah. At least he's honest. <laughs> Self aware. <laughs> Um, so anyways, but before we start on this whole tangent about the serial killers, which was very interesting, but a little <laughs> off topic. A little bit. Uh, um, we were talking about Ken Ham. This motherfucker. A lot of people don't know about this kind of, this kind of shit. It really pisses me off. I didn't know about it until um, this morning. Yeah. Um, this. So here's an article that I pulled up. At least I think this is the article. Yes. Once again, taxpayer-funded ARC Park in Kentucky fails to reach attendance projections. <laughs> Shocking. Crazy. Um, that was ARC-themed uh, amusement park. Well, uh, Williamstown had collected about three thousand or $374,000 in amusement fee revenue to the Ark Park during the first 11 months of the 2017-18 fiscal year. But apparently that wasn't even enough. No wonder they made the prices so high. They've got goals to meet. Yeah, that was another thing I was going to show. Um, <laughs> these fucking ticket options. Jesus Christ. Oh One God. day ticket. And free, se- okay, I guess you get a free second day grounds ticket. Oh, <laughs> if you couldn't get enough the first day, you can come back just for a too second much day. To see. Oh my god, but it's before tax and parking. What, not yeah, included. so before tax, no parking included 24 to 49 dollars. That's like a huge jump to go see some jackasses. Uh, what's the term? <laughs> a propaganda project whatever that's why what i meant to say hmm. um yeah it's all fucking bullshit it's, it's dumb um but, let me look at the numbers here um they were yeah so they were expecting so they were used to attendance of 1.4 million and now they're 870,000 visitors um so basically people are getting sick of the so on arc encounter um thanks to bill nye the novelty effect is worn off but yeah exactly um but yeah just millions of dollars put into i mean has it been there a while oh you know what let's let's i don't know why i didn't pull this up slacker i know I am a slacker. This is the thing. This is why I need to do it more often than just once a week. I'm like, oh, fuck. I got this <laughs> fucking podcast again. Woo! But I think it's been going pretty well. I thought the last one was very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, here we go. Um, it's a creationist theme park. It actually has the title <laughs> theme park. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's great. Open oh, July 7th, that. 2016. Oh, perfect. 2016. Mm-hmm. Dang. So, what? Does the, does the arc, like, get on wheels and you can, like, drive it around? Or That'd be sick. So, oh, fuck. That'd be so dumb. Then, like, animal feces are just, like, spraying everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. Are uh, there real, real animals on there? I don't know. I doubt. I hope not. They better not be. Um, I think well, Peter would be all over that. Fuck. We can look. We didn't watch this. Let's look at a tour. Ooh. Why pay the money uh, when you Jesus. can just Google it? Yeah, right? <laughs> oh my god but yeah he actually he used like 
so this is a promo so but he used like church money like taxpayer money like it's uh, like people pay taxes and it goes to this Oof. for people living in kentucky like all right fuck. kentucky folks yeah i fucked a chick from kentucky she was really dumb did she have the accent um, I don't know about that. Maybe kind of, but she definitely had like a dumb accent. <laughs> I'm not very bright. <sighs> I mean, I'm really impressed with the craftsmanship. The artistry? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> They're a real animal. It's like it's like if they took Harry Potter and they're like, "Okay, we're gonna make like a theme park. We're gonna have like this." Really it's happen. like a religious Jurassic Park. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's gonna go wrong. Oh, and they get uh, cafeteria food. Of course, uh -huh. they uh, um, classic American buffet, all you can eat, um, generic buffet chain. Hell yeah. Hmm. Hell yeah. That's insane. Looks like a um, great way to throw away like $200. Um, get out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, fuck you, Jesus. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, it's kind of bullshit. The whole thing. I, I grew up in a very small town, very religious-based and um, the stupidity of people that believe this kind of stuff. I just think it's... Uh, I mean, there are certain levels, obviously. I think there are people who appreciate the aesthetic of being Christian and go for it for mostly that reason. Yeah. I don't think there's, you know, there isn't necessarily anything... I guess there isn't necessarily anything inherently wrong with that, but, you know, people could use their time better. I don't know. Yeah, but it's like not the worst thing they could be doing. No, that's always kind of the argument for like uh, people. People are like in drug recovery, mm -hmm. and you know they find a way through religion. Yeah. You know I can't really like dispute that. Mm -hmm. Good for you, I guess. But I mean, I feel like there's a lot of people though, like you said, that just kind of go to church just to like go yeah. and like say like yeah I'm a Christian, but they don't actually like exactly practice. Exactly. Which, I mean, that's kind of how I've always been. Not no, caring. I mean, it's, it's very common. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like growing up, I was like, yeah, I'm Lutheran or whatever, you, and your just, whole your whole family does it. Yeah. So they expect you to do it. Yeah. I mean, I probably got a little harder than most people, but I mean, you know, um, I think it's different, like living a lifestyle versus just like, hey, you know, we're cool. You just have to go to church once a week, right? For an hour, that doesn't really sound too bad to most people. Mm -hmm. Most people are willing to do that. Yeah. <sighs> but, anyways, what, where are we at for time? I feel like we can go for a minute. Oh, yeah, we're at solid forty, forty-five minutes. Oh, um, you want to take a little break? Yeah. Potentially. Mm -hmm. And we can come back mm -hmm. and listen to some shit, watch some stupid videos, maybe talk some more shit. I don't fucking know. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. All right, folks, we will be back. Three, two, one. <gasps> and we're back <laughs> with Molly Rita. Um, yes, we have returned with a hookah. I don't know why. The mood struck me. Um, so here we are trying to get started. Um, it's not, this isn't the best hookah. I probably only spent about $25 on it, which is not a very good price point. It does what it's supposed to, though. It does. I have a feeling I might put too, a little too much water in it as well. Does, what does too much water do? Um, basically, it just prevents the amount of smoke you're able to produce. 
Like there's not as much space in it, so. Oh, okay. That's the theory anyways. I don't know. But it's hitting all right. I mean, it's not like pretty explosive or fun, but we we can probably um, adjust it at some point. Um, maybe while we're watching a video or something. Um, so thinking about all this coronavirus, <laughs> oh, shit. isn't it just fun to hit it? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it's fun. I uh -huh. mean. Shit, I feel like if we had less water. I feel like get the really big clouds going. The really big what? The really big clouds going. Oh. Oh, yeah. Can you do the smoke ring thing? <laughs> Kind of, not really. No, it worked, it worked. Okay, that's a better, that's a way better smoke cloud. That's doable, that's definitely a... Okay, this is a podcast, not just two people <laughs> smoking hookah. Um, I don't know, what was it? I'm gonna eat, this is probably really unprofessional, but I'm gonna eat this too. Oh. ASMR, it's get candy. all up in that microphone. Yeah, that's right. ASMR over here. ASMR over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Funny shit. <laughs> ASMR darling. Um, This is really old. Actually, I don't think this stuff can like go bad, though, can it? Like can I'm, candy canes? I'm, I don't think candy not in a health bad. sense. Like, like this isn't like covered in bacteria or no, anything. No, 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 no. No, I wouldn't think so. No, the only thing it would like go bad by is just it wouldn't taste as good or something. I mean, I could definitely like it tastes old. Like the texture's a little off. <laughs> I think is the. Well, is I mean, like it was the point of that. It probably would, like would melted a little that. and refroze and stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I like actually exploded out of my fucking mouth. Woo. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, this has to be from like Christmas. Not like maybe this year. <laughs> Not this year this or last Christmas. year. I wouldn't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, back to the podcast, yeah. the McAllister Hours. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. We returned today with Molly Reardon. I don't know if I've already said that. Stop. Yeah, I'm done. Right. Oh, we were going to do the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we... So me and Molly always had this bet that uh, we were going to watch um, Hereditary and Midsummer back to back. Two of the most terrifying movies I've ever seen. Um, we never did it. We never did it back to back. But we watched Hereditary. And if anybody's seen that movie. <laughs> Good for you. <sighs> yeah, you're a brave individual if you've been able to sit through that. I don't know. I still don't. I mean, it's not the worst one we've watched. Um, you know, I mean, was I don't know. Hereditary is pretty fucking. I, no, I was. would say Hereditary is like the scariest movie I've ever seen. Really? To be honest, yeah. Mm. Um, like it was worse the second time I watched it, which doesn't happen to me too often, but like one hundred ten percent. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> you shouldn't feel bad. It was my fault the whole time. True. But we anyways, I don't know how this is a terrible segue, but mm -hmm. we were talking about like Interstellar and shit. Have you ever seen the movie Interstellar? No. <gasps> okay. So with Matthew McConaughey, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. So I don't, do you know anything about it? I don't really want to spoil uh, anything, but I mean, <laughs> I've been someone I've been told before. Yeah. Like so. time is altered and like, 
um what seems like very short amount of times to certain people is very long long to month long amounts of time to other people um like they age faster okay because like just like the way the gravity works and like um how quick it travel light speeds etc i see i don't remember the exact details but something along those lines that's kind of the whole premise of the movie um i don't know i thought we'd listen to a little bit of george carlin talk about time just enough time sometimes they'll say do you know what time it is and i say yes (laughs) i hate to disappoint them but there is no time. The thing is, is no this time. isn't relevant anymore because people are to their phones. Mm-hmm. It's not everybody's in tune with time. Yeah. Everybody. There's no time. Everybody. We made it up. It's a man-made invention time. There are no numbers up in the Fuck. Time. That's like his name. I've looked. They're not there. <laughs> we made this stuff up. When is it? When the hell is it? When are we, I ask you? When are we? Sometimes we think we know where we are. But we don't really know when we are. When the hell is it? Oh, kids don't do drugs. All the time zones are different. Every calendar you run across is different. They'll this all isn't drugs. A These are calendars. These are made to oh, keep no, Nic- really. nicotine a little bit. Everybody's Nicotine's a drug. I mean, there aren't things. <laughs> I'm sure there's other shit in hookah. This ain't a couple of weeks. These people are off. I'm curious. Let's let's find out. Sorry, George Carlin. Huka, oh fuck! I wasn't even typing. God, the host slash producer can't even get his shit together. What the fuck kind of podcast is this? You need to fire your producer. I know. He's been really slacking lately, too. That's like, I don't know. What do you think? Don't be rude. I think don't be rude. (sighs) Yeah, I guess. Okay, so huka ingredients. Let's see. Um, so, hookah smoking is often mistaken as healthier. I mean, yeah, everybody knows that. It's not healthier. Yeah, it's worse for you. Yeah. Um, I do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, shit. It's fine. There's no such thing as a healthy smoking option, though. Just don't smoke. As everybody knows. Obviously, it's a water pipe. We're not hitting a bong. There isn't weed in this. As fun as that would be, um, it would not work. What do you um, mean it wouldn't work? I just thought it was a waste. Wait, what? Wait. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Carbon monoxide, tar, yep, arsenic. Chromium, cobalt. Cadmium, nickel, formalide. I said to the little hide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lead and polonium. A radioactive isotope. Whatever the fuck that means. I'm not very smart and when it comes to all this kind of shit. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously not good stuff. No. Arsenic. Yeah, I mean, that's in cigarettes, too. What? That's poison. Yeah, they... <laughs> They put just That's enough. what you put in people's like food. Like if you want poison them. Yeah, it's a popular choice of I want to say murder weapon, but a lot of women do arsenic poisoning. Hmm. Like if you read about like the old time lady serial killers, hmm. a lot of them have to do with arsenic and putting like arsenic like Yeah, that's that's interesting. That that I guess that's why I was kind of thinking of like that. Um, you never played Skyrim. Well, you've played it. Played a little really, bit. You've never really played it. There's a part of Skyrim where you have to poison the. I mean, it's obviously different. It's not arsenic, but it like in real times, I imagine that's what it would have been like. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah. Can we pause for like two seconds? Pause. Yeah. We gotta use. Some- cool. No, I'm just, I got really dizzy for a second. <laughs> yeah, um, you get head rush from uh, smoking tobacco. Apparently. Uh, yeah, I could have told you that. Fuck. I, well, you had done before, so I thought 
I didn't think to like um, stop you or anything. You are no, like I a like you. <laughs> you are your own person uh, and all yeah, that. No. Okay, I'm good. Um. So, I anyways, see. there the guy that the this whole interstellar theory is based off. His name is Kip Thorne. And I was thinking we could watch this video. I saved it. One of the people who spearheaded the yeah. research on gravitational waves in the West, that's Kip Thorne, very pleased to say that uh, after speaking at that news conference, he's now joining us live here on RT International. Slight time delay, but it's a good, clean connection. Kip, pleasure to speak to you. And people Slight here time are delay, excited, but I would say, quick, because of clean this link, connection. The, the hunt for gravitational waves was, was actually traced all the way back to Soviet scientists. I just want to ask you how important was their contribution? They're, they're important. The contribution is very important. God, this guy's the old. The idea of this method, but a much larger contribution to our effort has come from the research group of Vladimir Briginsky. Okay, so Einstein's theory, the, what the people who are listening, Einstein's theory of gravitational waves confirmed 100 years later. So Einstein was right. Yeah. The autistic guy was right. The autistic Jew. <laughs> I'm saying was autistic. <laughs> Who made the nuke? Well, like that's what the theory is. He's on the spectrum, because he was, like everybody thought he was retarded because he couldn't talk or like write or anything. He was like so in his own head. Oh, I see. And supposedly he got like so bored talking to people that he like just didn't like talking to people. Because they were inferior. Yeah, mm. kind of. I think I think that was kind of the. Um, how he f how he thought about it, anyways. I've never seen like an they never done like an Einstein film. I don't think they did. They no. did. Yeah. I haven't no. really heard of one. I'm sure there's one out there, but not like a popular one. Well, Jeffrey Rush is Einstein in something. Who the fuck is Jeffrey Rush? Hearts Caribbean. You seen that? Yeah. Barbosa. Well, <sighs> I think he's also in the King's he's Speech. He's Einstein. I'm pretty sure. He, was he in the King's Speech? Oh, is he the? He's the oh, speech guy. Oh, so he's like he's Jack. Um, he's who's Johnny Depp's character, Jack, right? No. no. Isn't that his dad? Isn't that who Barbosa? No. no, 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 no. That's not the same guy that's in no, King's no, no, Speech. No, 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 no. no. that's oh. a different guy. Okay, you're talking about the bad guy. The yeah, bad guy is in, in the King's first, Speech. In the first. Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, the first. The first Pirates of the Caribbean. The oh, wait. You're right. Okay. Yeah, yeah that guy. I that was thinking guy. of the squid guy. David Kraken? No. <laughs> what? David Kraken. I don't know who the fuck that is. Da no, Davy Jones. That's da Davy that's Jones. Right. Davy Davy Jones is locker, mateys. Good shit. Okay. <laughs> At Moscow State University. I have personally had a close collaboration with uh, Briginsky and his team uh, since uh, going all the way back to the early 1970s. And uh, his team uh, contributed the key idea of how to suspend the mirrors that we have. We have giant mirrors. They weigh 40 kilograms. They move back and forth by tiny amounts in response to the gravitational waves. And you have to suspend them in a way that produces no noise. It doesn't jerk the mirrors at all. And uh, the suspensions were the uh, result of research at Moscow State University by Brzezinski's group. And the Russians did it. The sudden jerk. <laughs> they got ahead. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, very interesting stuff. I thought that movie was really, really well done. Yeah, you should watch it. Okay. Add it to the list. So, enough of this. This is kind of <laughs> this is kind of as far as I got, so we can kind of just okay. go from here. Are you familiar with Coolio? Gangsters I know, Paradise. I know, I know who he is. Do you know the song Gangsters Paradise? No. Do you know no. the song by Weird Al? No. Amish Paradise. 
No. That sounds fantastic. Been spending the most our lives living in the gangster's paradise. I think you showed it to me one time because I didn't know anything It's like, by it's Julio. old school as fuck. I feel mm-hmm. like if you listened to it, you would recognize it. Is that Coolio? So this is Coolio. I, obviously, he's a lot older when this oh, song came hair. out. But apparently, yeah. No, that was like his whole thing. He had dreads and he like put them up top. Here, like, let me pull up The guy from shirt. American Horror Story. Uh, ooh, I don't know about American Horror Story. But he was in something. No, no. He, he like acted in some movie at some point. I did I didn't mean that Coolio's in it. I mean his hair reminds me of this character. Yeah, so this is Coolio. Oh my god. That was, this is him when he was <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Coolio. Yeah. He he's he's a little out there. I mean I did that one, that's fine. <laughs> but like like the two little pigtails on this side I can't. Um yeah, it's interesting. So, anyways. Anyway. So, I guess he's hanging out with these kids. Uclan. I don't know what the fuck Uclan is. No I guess I'm just uneducated. I don't know. But, anyways. That's a college, apparently. He's like, tell him, like, start out slow. Hanging out with all these college kids. I mean, how sick would that be, though? I mean, it'd be cool to hang out with him, but like, I don't know. If I was famous, well, that's kind of the last thing I'd want to do. Hang out with a bunch of college kids. Are you fucking kidding me? But I mean, if you're past your prime. You gotta remind the younger generation who you are. Oh my god. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> Spend the most our lives, lives. living in a gangster's paradise. Yeah. Spend the most our lives, living in a gangster's paradise. That's right. <laughs> so gangster. Uh-huh. Smoking gangster, all this hookah. <laughs> Smoking all this hookah. I'm so gangster. They got the situation, they got me facing I can't live a normal life. I was raised by the state, so I gotta be down with the hood team. Too much television. He's like so serious. He's like so serious I know. too. That's he looks the so thing. angry. <laughs> like he needs a hug. He's like so into it. He's just like I'm Coolio. I don't give a fuck. I could never do that. I can never sit in the living room with a guy playing guitar on my songs and like rap to it. Tell me why are we so blind to see that the world is you and me? Tell me why are we so blind to see that the ones we heard are you? I thought all the programs were shut down <laughs> because it's cut off at the bottom of the TV. Did your heart stop for a second? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's okay, anyways, that's Coolio. <laughs> Just doing random shit, apparently. Uh, that was funny. Um, I don't. I couldn't imagine myself ever being like at that level. Or I could do that. I mean, it'd be really cool to like see your music put out in that kind of format. I yeah. guess. Like it'd be it'd be fun to vibe with that and like chill with that. But damn, that sounds like a lot. I don't know. Did I show you this? I saw it on your Snapchat, I think. Yeah. 
This might kind of be breaking the copyright, but I don't really give a fuck at this point. It's a mashup, so I mean, it's not really, it's dual copyright, <laughs> but not really. I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it, do it better than anybody you ever seen, do it, screams from the haze. Say what you want about Britney, but she had some badass beats. Heck yeah. Britney Spears was the shit. The producer knew, knew what was going on. He knew what was on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is like really catchy though. I know, right? <laughs> I like it. I think we've been digging it. There's a yeah. lot of cool like YouTube compilation shit out there. Um, my favorite one, fuck, we might as well do this. Right. Oh, fuck no, stop. Not that. <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> That's fuck. cute. Oh, the cute little baby. Uh huh. Excuse me. It's probably my favorite one. <laughs> I would say I've heard. Uh, Martin had a dream. Martin, Martin had, had a dream. dream. Kids would have a dream. All my life I want money and power. Respect my mind or die from that shower. I pray my dick get big as the apple tower. So I can fuck the world for 72 hours. Like you don't realize. You can freestyle over aha uh-huh. tell Kendrick Lamar Well not Kendrick Lamar Somebody did it for him <laughs> I would love if he did this live This is a goof as an encore It's just like I'm gonna fucking rap over aha uh-huh. Hell yeah Yeah this is really good <laughs> This yeah. shit's dope. I pray my dick get big as the Eiffel Tower So I can fuck the world for 72 hours Damn, I got bitches Damn, I got bitches Damn, I got bitches, Damn, I got bitches. <laughs> Wifey, girlfriend, and mistress All my life I want money and power Respect my mind or die from that show I got 25 light on my dresser Yes, sir, but fire to that ass Body cast on the stretcher Everybody got that ass that a ruler couldn't measure And it make me come fast, but I never get you have what I've been wanting since that record That a Dean I would have I've been fast to impress her She rolling, I'm holding my scrotum And posing, this voice here is golden So fuck y'all, I goes in And all my life I want money If I respect my mind Or die from this show I pray my dick get big as the apple top So I can fuck the world for 72 hours God damn, I got bitches Damn, I got bitches Damn, I got bitches Wife and girlfriend and bitch But yeah Whew. Cool shit. Mm-hmm. I just, yeah, I mean, that's just the world of YouTube, you know. People are amazing. Yeah, you know, and that's really the that's really the kind of what's sad about where YouTube has come and where it's going, where it's gone. <laughs> it's like it, it's not like original creators anymore. Like back, like when like we were kids and it mm-hmm. came out, it was like people like unleashing the creative energy yeah. and putting it to something and now it's kind of just like uh i mean there, there that still exists obviously but it's a lot more just like corporations yeah and there's a lot of just like sponsorship and trends yeah it's more about like who is i don't know i don't know and like as you look through youtube it's like usually 
This is kind of interesting. $350 Swiss. This is Wall Street traders in 1980. This is just one of Citicorp's nerve centers. It's for an exchange room. Each day, it moves a billion and a half dollars in currencies from 30 different countries. Basically, what we do is we buy and sell currencies against the dollar. We do it both for our own account and for the account of our customers. And the key feature here is speed, trying to follow what's going on in the international market. See, they're not so near as mean as they were in the we can Wall Street. We catch support. trends as they occur. At Citicorp, I've never nuances. seen it. You've never seen the Wolf on Wall Street? No. <laughs> it has the most f bombs ever recorded. And that's also true in Exxon, really? Lloyd's of Lisa London, did. General Motors, sure Sony. Does. Fortunes are made <laughs> or lost because of information. Maybe the Irishman will eat it because okay, that movie was like almost four hours long. <laughs> Somebody asked me, what in fact do you oh. do? And I realized that I spent most of my time on the phone and in order to make people think I was professional, I had to figure out what it was I did. So what I realized was that I, I sat there and I listened. I listened and I transmitted and I analyzed. There's a little bit of detective work. When you hear a little piece of information coming across the Dow Jones tape and you see a little bit of selling or buying in one of the exchange markets and see what's happening in the money markets, you suddenly put them together and you say, damn it, that's what's happening. We are computer oriented in terms of getting communication and being up to speed it's as quick That's as i can move that was cool i may not be mm -hmm. that fast without communication and that? Is that yeah. paper speed. wow Technology. it's as quick as i can move and i may do not you think be that you could work in an environment like quick that as I can move. like me personally yeah no yeah fuck that that sounds way too stressful yeah i mean i don't know how accurate it is but i'm sure it's accurate that People did a lot of coke doing that. Really? I mean, that's the whole thing in the movie. He's like, he's like telling him, like, you gotta do coke to keep sharp between the ears and like all that. Like, Matthew McConaughey actually it, it, um, is that character in the movie. Oh, yeah. It takes him out. He's like, gotta take cocaine. Gotta take cocaine. You gotta be jerking off three, three to five times a day. Uh, minimum. Why? I'm serious. It's a good fucking movie. Hmm. Um, but That's the one where they do the... Um, yeah, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Can't, can't pick it up. Boom, boom, boom. Cocaine, cocaine, <laughs> cocaine. Get our fix. <laughs> Get our fix so we can make some money and get some chicks and get some chicks. Do cocaine all over our chicks so they can suck our dicks. <laughs> oh, mom, 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 mom. That was good. Well, I'm glad I could provide some, for provide some form of entertainment. <laughs> for this podcast. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many people are still watching to this point. Probably nobody. But I'm just pessimistic. Yeah. I am. You need to be more positive. I know. Uh, that should be the that should be the goal um goal for Macaust Hour. If you if you donate twenty dollars a month, I will be the most positive face that this podcast the universe has ever seen. <laughs> I'll be Mr. Go Happy. Mr. Go Happy. I'm kind of retarded. Yeah, I'm kind of retarded. So are you. Is math related to science? <laughs> Is math related to science? That's the real question. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I've only had one beer, which is shocking. It's all those hookahs okay. got me all wired. <laughs> So, Molly. Yes. Um, before we wrap things up, um, I understand you're a big proponent of Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I understand you're a big proponent of Fallout Boy, not yeah. to be confused with Fallout the Game, which no. is what I usually confuse it with. <laughs> um, why on earth do you like or listen to Fallout Boy? Please describe. 
What do you mean? Why do I listen? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> what ungodly reason? How could I go down that road? I don't know. I just like I remember back in the day, like I used to go to the library a lot and rent CDs. And I'd just, like, pick one song. Like, I'd be like, oh, I like this one song by this one artist. Let me just get a couple CDs. Hmm. And, uh, what was this? Oh, I Don't Care. That used oh, to be on the radio. Oh, by Apocalypto? No, by Fall Out Boy. That's by, oh, there's probably, oh, he probably made a song called that, too. I was thinking the one by Apocalypto. No, I don't know. If you want to do the no, not that. <laughs> I swear, I don't care. <laughs> no, I don't care about follow boy. <sighs> like that. <laughs> I think that should be your next music endeavor. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Death metal. I put the data in this bitch. <laughs> I could totally pull it off. Well, I'm atheist, so it's perfect. I mean, there's Christian death metal. It's true, which I think is like some of that shit's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's bad. Oh my god! Like uh, I remember one time. Okay, so so where I grew up, this town. Um, the school like had this before uh school program where they would have all these like christian it was like associated with the church so these kids would like go early in the morning to like this group deal and i was catholic i wasn't like i so i never like went my parents didn't want me to go so i was like one of like three people three five no not that few like probably five to ten people my whole grade that didn't go to that thing um, it was stupid, but like one time, I remember one time distinctly, there was like a Christian rapper and like I walked by and like I was watching him and he was just like, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> 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 it was just, it was like the most God awful thing I'd ever yeah. heard. I was like, oh my God, that's kind of, uh, I don't know. It really, it's really kind of like a sin to artist, a sin, whatever, you know, it's yeah. whatever. It's, it's a fucking uh it's not good artistry i don't think i don't believe it is yeah really. like uh, i don't know like whatever you believe what you want to believe but there's a difference between like having good music with the things that are important to you and like just making something because it follows an ideology that's the that's the point i'm trying to make folks yeah whatever you can believe whatever the fuck you want i don't think care. for yourself just think for yourself and don't ruin music while you're at it, please. <laughs> there are people who like who like art and like music. Don't be an asshole. Don't ruin it. <sighs> I think we're. I think this has been a pretty lengthy podcast. Oh yeah, we got we got some good content. Good. I think we should wrap it up. What do Okey you think? Dokey. I think this is this has been fun. This has mm-hmm. been um, it, like I said. No beef. I'm not. Don't think I'm upset with anyone at all. Um, but I, I just felt like because um, we had some high tidy here. <sighs> what? <laughs> had some issues with um, people just not being able to come due to unfortunate events. Uh, I thought I'd um, bring it back. But um, I will say D Wavy is supposed to meet up tomorrow. So I think that'll be if he's able to do that. That'll be great. Um, and it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna get some insight on a great hip hop artist and all that. And with that, <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> it was so loud. Oh my god, the volume somehow on. <laughs> I am so sorry. Whew. Dude, that producer, he fucking sucks. <laughs> He's gotta go. He's gotta go. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. That was really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this podcast has reached its climax, its finale, its 
and we are done. All right. Um, like I said, stay tuned. Tomorrow we will have the D- fabulous D Wavy on the show. It's gonna be a great time. Y'all keep it real. Have a good night. Peace. <laughs>